What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today we're going to talk about Facebook ads and the elusive statistic called website purchases conversion value. I had a blog not too long ago that broke down the difference between website purchase value and website purchase conversion value. And there's a huge difference back then and now it looks like Facebook ads has cleaned that up and made it simpler on the advertiser. I got a question from a reader of that blog asking me to clarify, and I did a little bit of research, and here's what I found out. Check it out. So as you can see here on my screen, back in July of 2018, when I first published the blog article, letting digital marketers and analysts know that they needed to look out between the difference of website purchase conversion value and website um, conversion value. Here's what uh, Facebook Ads Manager looked like. You could add columns in Ads Manager to see your return on ad spend, your ROAS, and they had two statistics, website conversion value and website purchases conversion value. Now, at the time, they were allowing the marketer to assign a value via the tracking pixel to website conversion value that could have been a lot a lot higher than the website purchases conversion value. So you would have two different numbers in your ads manager, one that would look like this website conversion value, in this case $43,629.95 versus website conversion value $321.50. Now there were two purchases so uh, the website purchase conversion value <clears throat> was the accurate one, not the website conversion value. Now what Facebook Ads Manager looks like is this. So when you add columns, you only see when you go down to conversions standard events, you see metrics to include and you see purchases. Now what you can do is you can click value on purchases and it's telling you that it's the total value of the purchases tracked within the conversion objective. Now my research on this again is that Facebook has simplified this and it's just saying website purchases as a number that is a the standard event that you install in your tracking pixel so it's it's default. You don't have to do anything. You shouldn't have to do anything if you're using a basic out of the box e-commerce platform like Shopify or WooCommerce or even BigCommerce or Magento because Facebook ads has all of those integrations ready for you. Um, so this is it. This is it. This really answers the question. It's, it's not a complicated answer. It's just that Facebook ads manager has changed. It used to look like this where you had all these different options to add columns. Now it looks like this. And when you add um, the purchases value column, that's the accurate number. So it used to be like this huge weird number and you could get way thrown off track. Now it's a lot simpler for marketers and analysts. Uh, chances are small business owners aren't necessarily getting in this deep, but if you are, good for you. And if you're a CMO or director of marketing or VP of marketing who's familiar with this, good for you as well. Your data analysts, your digital marketing specialists should definitely know this. Um, this has been your data-driven daily tip for more free digital marketing and web design and custom software, all things digital tips. Go to dataoveropinions.com. Please check out the audio version on the podcast consistently at anchor.fm slash Paul Hickey, streaming every day. The Alexa Flash briefing is at datadrivendaily.com. And if you want to do some business with us, we would love to work with you. Email me at paul at datadriven.design. Again, Paul Hickey talking Facebook ads. This has been your Data Driven Daily Tip. Have a great day.